Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's July 5th. We irrigated, fertilized this on June 30th and July 1st. And this grass is already taking off. The water is uh, gone. Of course, there's plenty of moisture. Now I'm just checking to make sure that we don't get army worms. Army worms, because they just love fertilized Tifton or Bermuda. Third and fourth pan. Plenty of moisture still here. This is right here at the head or behind our barn. But, look at this guys. I mean, from night to day. This thing is looking immaculate. Like I said, I gotta check for army worms because they do hit us up here. We do have some uh, uh, stem boring worms sometimes, but not very often. Just gorgeous, man. I mean, big difference. It was green, but now it's getting dark green. And I mean, this stuff is going to grow like a weed. Again, this is coastal and Tifton mixed. It's almost 100% Tifton, but there is a lot of uh, coastal in between. See, here's a little patch of coastal here. There's patches, there's patches. This is gonna be definitely some quality horse hay. And I will cut it and put this into squares for cattle or horse, um, whoever wants to buy it. It will be for sale. And if not, we'll just store it and we'll use it for our own cattle. But this is beautiful grass, guys, I mean, Just gorgeous. Yeah. It's just going to get darker green, darker green as we go along. And, uh, I mean, I won't cut it quite yet. I could go two, two and a half weeks and cut this. Uh, well, that's great. Let's uh, take a drive over to the ranch and check the cattle out. Well, guys, I'm out here with the cattle. Uh, going to give them a Scooby snack, like I call it. And I'll tell you what, man, this hay smells good. Uh, it smells really good. There's our little heifer there. She's growing up pretty fast. Look at that beautiful calf. Just beautiful. That's mama right next to her, KC-16. This calf has grown and it's coming along. Look at that. Hey, baby. You gonna let me touch you? Yeah, that's it, baby. All right. Oh. Hey, big girl. It's three over 113. It's a beautiful looking calf. Did I bother you? Were you drinking milk? And she still wants more milk. Like that. Baby. Hi. <laughs> 
baby. That's KC-16's calf. That was that little baby calf that we showed when we got started off last time. Hey, baby. Yes, you are. You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Nice, cold heifer. Really, really nice little heifer. So, we own all this land around us. It's all improved pasture, it's all irrigated. So, I have hot wire on the top of the highway frontage here. And I noticed that my line was weak. Well, we have issues with honey mesquite. A lot of people will wonder why, but so there's a lot of sap that comes out of these trees. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but and the hot wire is pretty hot because it's killing off whatever's touching it. But I still got to do a little maintenance. I'm going to chop that up. Hi right, guys. That took care of that issue there. Uh, normally, just spraying Tour Dawn will kill this mesquite. It'll kill it to the root. Um, There's a product called uh, Sendero, and that's what's used on, on mesquite. Uh, you just got to put Sendero when it's in total heat no seedlings if you got new growth it rained uh, stuff like that you cannot put Sendero because it will not work you see that it's blooming you put Sendero right now uh, it'll work but it's only gonna work on the top of the mesquite um, it's drawing too much moisture from the root system, so it doesn't take the Sendero to the root system. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but you want to put Sendero uh, when it is dark, dark green, no growth. It's in drought. That's when you put Sendero because at that point it absorbs what's on the leaves and takes it into the root system. So, Sendero works good. People just don't know how to apply it. And a lot of people that you buy it from will tell you, oh, put it when it's all real tender. Well, unfortunately, it's drawing too much moisture from the ground, sending it up to a leaf, so your Sendero never goes to the root system and will never kill it off. Uh, again, the only proper way to use Sendero is when it's in the heat of summer, drought, no growth, leaves are super dark green, uh, it's not leafing out, it's not blooming, this stuff is blooming right now, so that wouldn't work. All right guys, well thanks for watching, again thank you for coming by and looking at our videos here that we have to offer at South Texas Cattle and Hay, y'all keep safe.